In this video, we're going to learn how to transfer your item list from one company file in QuickBooks into another. Now, why would you want to do this? There's a lot of reasons. <laughs> Perhaps you have a franchise and you want to offer your franchisee the same items list already built into their QuickBooks file so you could create a items IIF file so that when they start up their business, all the information is already in there. Another reason that you'd want to transfer, perhaps you have a file that has all of your sales tax items and sales tax groups set up. In a state like Texas or California, that's very important because you have all of those different counties and all of the different groups set up already. And if you're starting a new file or starting a new company, it would be great to be able to transfer that data over instead of having to rekey it again. So now we're gonna go ahead and show you how to move the items. So right now I'm in my company LLC. This is my new company file that I'm starting and I wanna move items from my old file. So I'm gonna go up to file, go down to my sample product based business here and pull it up. Okay. So once I'm in this file that I wanna move the items from, I'm going to go up to File, down to Utilities, over to Export, and export my list to IIF files. As I've said in some of the other videos, I do suggest if you're moving your chart of accounts, your customer list, your vendor list, your item list, I would suggest moving them individually because there's so many changes that you want to make and I would take the time, the extra bit of time to move them individually. Some of these other things can be moved in mass. If you want to move your, you know, terms, method, shipping method, all those different lists, those can be moved in mass over um, because there's not too much customization that you'd need to do. The item list is a big deal and so there could be a lot of customization. So I'm just going to export the item list for now. Okay. And I'm going to save it as a items list dot IIF format into an interchange format. That's the format that in QuickBooks reads data when you import it. All right, so it says your data has been exported. So now I'm going to go ahead and move back to the company file that I want to import the information in. The nice part about using the IIF files is that you can actually decide what gets imported and what doesn't. So the way to do that is you go into Excel. So I'm going to open up Microsoft Excel. Now once you're inside the program, you need to click on the little button and open up a file. Go to your desktop where you saved it, your items list. Now right now you see I don't see it. That's because right now I'm looking for all Excel files. So go ahead and change that to all files. I scroll down and there's my items list. It's always going to give you this warning here that it's uh, trying to figure out which format it is in. So you just say finish and it automatically picks it up. Now there is a whole bunch of information up top. Always will be when you do an export. I usually get rid of this information for now um, when I move it over. If you do want to keep the custom items, then you can leave those there. So if you wanted to, uh, you can leave this top part here. But for now, I'm just going to get rid of it because so I'm going to say I want my own customs. Okay. So now you have all your inventory coming through. You can see here which type it is. You have service, you have inventory, you have part, which is non-inventory parts. Okay. You have some fixed assets items that you can move over. I don't really want to move my fixed asset items into my new file, so I'm going to go ahead and delete these. You have other charges. You have subtotal items, discount items, payment items. I'm going to say I don't want those to move over either. Then I have my tax items that I was talking about. And finally, I have my assemblies down here and group items. Okay, so let's say I'm not going to move over my assemblies. So I'm going to scroll up to, let's see where, here, and then take away all my assemblies and groups. Just delete those off there. Okay. 
All right, so I have all this information that I want to move over to the new file. Everything that is, you can see here, it's a, this would be a header, and then when you put a colon, that's going to make it a sub-account. All the information will get moved over, the price, the cost. If I wanted to fill in some information here, I could. So if I wanted to say this is all 15, I can fill this information in here. I guess I could have copied it down. That would have been faster. Um, if it's taxable or non-taxable, sales tax, um, preferred vendor, you have all this information here that you could fill in in Excel and it'll get imported in. So I'm going to go ahead and save this for now. Okay, and exit out of here. All right, so now I'm in my QuickBooks file. If I go ahead and look at my items list, you can see I have some taxes already set up in there. But not really that much information. And so I'm going to go ahead and minimize this for now. I go up to File. Make sure I'm in my new file, right? File, Utilities, Import IIF files this time. I'm going to scroll down. I see my items list to import right there. Double click on it. And it's going to pull all that items information in. It tells me, OK, your data has been imported. Then when I open up this again, all of that information gets pulled over really quickly. So it's a great way to move a lot of data easily.